Okay, so which space, pros and cons? Um, pros would be um, no more unwanted litters, okay, reduced risk of mammary tumors, no risk of pyometra. Okay, so first one is fairly obvious. Second, reduced risk of mammary tumors. So what they say is that, uh, what, what, what we know is, if you spay before the first season, you have 98% chance of not getting mammary tumors. After the first season, it drops to 70%. After the second season, it drops to 40%. So that is what they have found, okay? Um, no risk of pyometra, okay, because no more ovaries, no more uterus, or just the ovaries itself, no more pyometra. Pyometra is infection of the womb, okay? And in uh, the sort of uh, papers that have been shown, and in my experience as well, I would see about 20% of females, entire females, getting pyometra, which is a pretty one in five, basically, compared to one in 50 in dogs for testicular tumors. So it is often, is common enough for me to say that I think we should spay, so to speak. Okay, but that is just my and and the problem with being a vet is that you just see all the horrible things. <laughs> if they're nice, and I'm sure for every five meter I do, there is like another ten thousand <laughs> unspayed females running around freely and having fun. But you know, I see a lot of that, so to speak. So it's hard to say. So the cons of that would be um, general anesthetic, usual, usual, no more puppies, usual, usual, increased risk of urinary incontinence. Okay, so this one has been ongoing for quite some time already. And only recently they've come up with even more studies to say that the risk is uh, much more obvious in specific breeds like Hungarian Vizslers, Weimaraners, um, and there's just some special breeds, specific breeds is more, okay. What they're saying is that in unspayed females, the risk of a urinary incontinence is 2%. So it is there, and despite it being more common, is about 2%. So that is quite interesting. But when it happens, it's obvious, okay? And, and it can happen as early as, you know, one and a half years after being spayed, or for them as early as or three years old. When I was, when I first qualified, like more than 10 years ago, I the cases that I see diagnosing urinary incontinence tend to be older bitches, tend to be seven, eight years old, nine years old, then the owner talks about being incontinent, then it was spayed since it was a puppy, and it has a good sort of six, seven year span. Uh, but as I become, uh, as I sort of practice more and more, then I see them much younger and younger and younger. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. That's a, for whatever reason, that seems to be a trend. So that certainly is one thing that we would uh, be talking about um, to owners in terms of spaying the bitch in one of the cons for urinary incontinence. Then, um, without something horrible as well, then they had to make the horrible choice. Okay, do you want incontinence or do you want cancer? <laughs> so, <laughs> incontinence, there's a treatment. Uh, because we give medication and it, it does work very, very well and that's that. Cancer, there's also a treatment, but obviously it's more involved and involve a whole different sort of set of rules, so to speak, and prognosis. So, uh, but definitely there's an in increased risk of urinary incontinence. Coat change, so same again, is a fluffy coat, uh, thinning of the coat. Um, Sometimes very, very mild color changes, I, but yeah, that, that's, that's what the, the experience But Same again, it doesn't uh, usually go to skin disease. It doesn't really disrupt the skin itself. Uh, it's just uh, literally the hair, the coat change, really. Um, interestingly, Rottweiler, large breed dogs, and other breeds, uh, other specific breeds, they've talked about bone cancer. Okay, so um, I'm going to elaborate a little bit more about this. So for Rottweilers, they have actually have a paper of their own to actually show that if you spay before the first season, it's got three times the risk of getting osteosarcoma before they're five years old. Okay? And the risk goes down when you wait longer. Okay? Why Rottweiler and why that paper is hard to say. Okay? And this was about 15 years ago. So the information is there already. So the advice was, my advice was spay before the first season because of the risk of memory tumour, as I just said. But if a Rottweiler, that is where I got asked the owners a horrible question. Pick a tumour. Memory cancer, osteosuck. If you don't want to have osteosuck, I'll delay the spay. Increase, increase risk of memory cancer. It is, yeah, it's that sort of informed decision, so to speak. Okay, so it's not unusual for me to give advice for a rock rider, which is about two years of age. Let me speak. Because 
it is that specific. It's a similar one for a yeah. tree, Exactly. So since then, there's been a lot of other breeds coming out with very, very similar studies, similar results, and things like that. And usually, usually, they're the, I would say, not even medium, more, more large to extra large dogs. Okay, and the theory behind it is because our bones, there's growth plates over there. Okay, and as I said before, those, those uh, hormones that we produce, they are essential for growing. So if you are spaying before the growth plates have finished growing or close, they remain open, that may be the reason why, I'm not saying it is, okay, and I'm no oncologist, that may be the reason why they're more prone to osteosarcoma, like bone cancer. So that is the whole idea behind it. So now the advice would be, you know, and, and, and that is where it gets very, very contentious. You speak to some vets, okay, and even I'm talking about senior vets, specialists, they'll say that, nope, everything, six months, do it. Then other vets who go like, no, you know, Great Dane, you know, they, they don't stop growing until they're two years old. <laughs> and <laughs> when do you spay then, <laughs> so to speak? And I've seen both. I've seen, I've really seen both in my career. I've seen both. I've seen Great Dane spayed at six months of age, live till they're nine, fairly normal age, no problems. And I've seen Great Danes that owners wait till two years old, spay them, then they continue living. So it's really, really hard to say. It's uh, and in, because there's so many conflicting evidence and a lot of it's theories. And in my personal experience, I've seen both sides. Uh, it's really hard to give a specific rule. So my advice usually would be small breed dogs, really no brainer. Okay, small breed dogs that really isn't that risk that is out there talking about bone cancer. Uh, and I'm just talking about bone cancer itself. So with that in mind, we spay them sort of six months of age before the first season. Large breed dogs, I'll discuss a little bit further. Great Danes, Rottweilers, um, sort of uh, even flat coats. And um, so specific different breeds, I'll talk about pros and cons. And, and usually, usually now, which I love, the owners, they ha already have a bit of clue already. They spoke to somebody, they come here with some form of information already. I said, yeah, that's, that is a, that, 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 there's something about that. I can't tell you how true it is, but uh, certainly there's something there. Yep, so that is still one of the cons of uh, Spain. Mm -hmm.